George Douglas Howard Cole, the 25th of September 1889 to the 14th of January 1959, was an English political theorist, economist, writer and historian. As a libertarian socialist, he was a longtime member of the Fabian Society and an advocate for the cooperative movement. Topic: <laughs> Early life. Cole was born in Cambridge, to George Cole, a jeweller who later became a surveyor, and his wife, Jessie Knowles. Cole was educated at St. Paul's School and Balliol College, Oxford, where he achieved a double first. <laughs> first World War As a conscientious objector during the First World War, Cole's involvement in the campaign against conscription introduced him to a co-worker, Margaret Postgate, whom he married in 1918. The couple both worked for the Fabian Society for the next six years before moving to Oxford, where Cole started writing for the Manchester Guardian. In 1915, Cole became an unpaid research officer at the Amalgamated Society of Engineers. He advised the Union on how to respond to wartime legislation including the Munitions Act. This role enabled him to escape conscription on the grounds that he was conducting work of national importance. Having secured exemption from military service, during the war years Cole developed a political theory of guild socialism. <laughs> Professional life Cole authored several economic and historical works including biographies of William Cobbett and Robert Owen. In 1925, he became reader in economics at University College, Oxford. In 1929 he was appointed to the National Economic Advisory Council when it was set up by the second Labour government. In 1944, Cole became the first Chichely Professor of Social and Political Theory at Oxford. He was succeeded in the chair by Isaiah Berlin in 1957. Cole was initially a pacifist, however, he abandoned this position around 1938. Hitler cured me of pacifism. During the 1930s, Cole sought to construct a British popular front against fascism. He identified the extent of the military threat before many of his colleagues had abandoned their pacifism. Cole lent strong support to the Republican cause in Spain. He was listed in the Black Book of prominent subjects to be arrested in the case of a successful invasion of Britain. In 1941, Cole was appointed sub warden of Nuffield College, Oxford. He was central to the establishment of the Nuffield College Social Reconstruction Survey, which collected a large amount of demographic, economic, and social data. This information was used to advocate for an extensive program of social reform. Topic. Socialism Cole became interested in Fabianism while studying at Balliol College, Oxford. He joined the Fabian Society's executive under the sponsorship of Sidney Webb. Cole became a principal proponent of Guild Socialist Ideas, a libertarian socialist alternative to Marxist political economy. These ideas he put forward in the New Age before and during the First World War, and also in the pages of The New Statesman, the weekly founded by the Webbs and George Bernard Shaw. Cole said his interest in socialism was kindled by his reading News from Nowhere, the utopian novel by William Morris. He wrote, I became a socialist because, as soon as the case for a society of equals, set free from the twin evils of riches and poverty, mastership and subjection, was put to me, I knew that to be the only kind of society that could be consistent with human decency and fellowship and that in no other society could I have the right to be content. Neither a Marxist nor a social democrat, Cole envisioned a socialism of decentralized association and active, participatory democracy, whose basic units would be cited at the workplace and in the community rather than in any central apparatus of the state. In 1936, Cole began calling for a popular front movement in Britain, where the Labour Party would ally with other Parties against the threat of fascism, Cole was a powerful influence on the life of the young Harold Wilson, whom he taught, worked with and convinced to join the Labour Party. Before him, Hugh Gateskill was a student of Cole's. 
Cole wrote at least seven books for the Left Book Club, all of which were published by Victor Gollanch Ltd. These are marked with LBC in the list of his books given below. He and his wife, Margaret Cole, together wrote 29 popular detective stories, featuring the investigators Superintendent Wilson, Everard Blatchington and Dr. Tancred. Cole and his wife created a partnership, but not a marriage. Cole took little interest in sex and he regarded women as a distraction for men. Margaret documented this comprehensively in a biography she wrote of her husband after his death. Although Cole admired the Soviet Union for creating a socialist economy, he rejected its dictatorial government as a model for socialist societies elsewhere. In a 1939 lecture, Cole stated, if I do not accept Stalin's answer, it is because I am not prepared to write off democratic socialism, despite all its failures and vacillations of recent years, as a total loss. Democratic socialism offers the only means of building the new order on what is valuable and worth preserving in the civilization of today. In his book Europe, Russia and the Future published in 1941, Cole claimed that however immoral the new Nazi-dominated Europe was, in some ways it was better than the «impracticable» system of sovereign states that had preceded it. In economic terms it could be said that «it would be better to let Hitler conquer all Europe short of the Soviet Union, and thereafter exploit it ruthlessly in the Nazi interest, than to go back to the pre-war order of independent nation-states with frontiers drawn so as to cut right across the natural units of production and exchange." Cole also stated, I would much sooner see the Soviet Union, even with its policy unchanged, dominant over all Europe, including Great Britain, than see an attempt to restore the pre-war states to their futile and uncreative independence and their petty economic nationalism under capitalist domination. Much better be ruled by Stalin than by the destructive and monopolistic cliques which dominate Western capitalism. Cooperative studies Cole was also a theorist of the cooperative movement, and he made a number of contributions to the fields of cooperative studies, cooperative economics and the history of the cooperative movement. In particular, his book, The British Cooperative Movement in a Socialist Society examined the economic status of the English CWS the predecessor of the modern cooperative group, evaluated its possibility of achieving a cooperative commonwealth without state assistance and hypothesized what the role the cooperative might have in a socialist state. A second book, A Century of Cooperation, examined the history of the movement from the very first cooperatives, to the contribution of the Chartists and Robert Owen, through to the Rochdale pioneers, as well as the movement's development in Great Britain over the following century. Cole contributed to an outline of modern knowledge, ed. William Rose Victor Golinch, 1931, along with other leading authorities of the time, including Roger Fry, C. G. Seligman, Maurice Dobb and F. J. C. Hernshaw. <laughs> Personal life In August 1918 Cole married Margaret Isabel Postgate 1893 Margaret was the daughter of the classical scholar John Percival Postgate, the couple had one son and two daughters in a marriage that lasted 41 years. The marriage, however, does not seem to have been especially happy. Cole expressed little interest in actual romantic attachment and even less in sexual relations. Friends observed that emotional attachments tended to be with men rather than women. Cole was very fond of some of his male students. They included the future leader of the Labour Party, Hugh Gateskill. There is no evidence of any homosexual encounters either before or during his marriage. Cole and his wife jointly wrote a number of books and articles, including 29 detective stories. Topic. Bibliography Topic Nonfiction Works The World of Labor 1913, revised 1920. Labor in War Time 1915, Trade Unionism on the Railways 1917, with R. Page Arnott Self-Government in Industry 1917, revised 1920. The Payment of Wages 1918. 
the regulation of wages during and after the war 1918 and introduction to trade unionism 1918 labor in the commonwealth 1919 social theory 1920 guild socialism restated 1920 chaos and order in industry 1920 the Future of Local Government 1921, Rousseau's Social Contract and Discourses edited and translated in Everyman's Library 1923, Robert Owen 1923, Workshop Organization 1923, Trade Unionism and Munitions 1923, The Life of William Cobbett 1925, Some Essentials of Socialist Propaganda 1932. The Intelligent Man's Guide Through World Chaos 1932. The Intelligent Man's Review of Europe Today 1933 with Margaret Cole Studies in World Economics 1934 Principles of Economic Planning 1935 The Condition of Britain 1937 with Margaret Cole LBC The People's Front 1937 LBC Practical Economics 1937 Pelican Books London Persons and Periods 1938 Socialism in Evolution 1938 Pelican The War on the Home Front 1939 War Aims 1939 LBC Europe Russia and the Future 1941 LBC Great Britain in the Post-War World 1942 LBC The Fabian Society Past and Present 1942 Fabian Socialism 1943 Monetary Systems and Theories 1943 the Means to Full Employment 1943 LBC A Century of Cooperation 1944 Money Its Present and Future 1944 The Common People 1746 to 1946 1946 with Raymond Postgate A Short History of the British Working Class Movement 1789 to 1947 1947 ISBN 0-415-26564-9 An Intelligent Man's Guide to the Postwar World 1947 A History of the Labour Party from 1914 London, Routledge and K. Paul, 1948. Consultation or Joint Management, 1949 Labour's Second Term 1949. The Meaning of Marxism 1950 LBC The British Cooperative Movement in a Socialist Society, London, G. Allen and Unwin 1951. Introduction to Economic History 1750–1950 London, Macmillan 1952. Capitalism in the Modern World 1957 A History of Socialist Thought, 7 volumes London, Palgrave Macmillan 2003 ISBN 1-4039-0264-X Detective stories Cole, G. D. H. The Brooklyn Murders Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Death of a Millionaire Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Blatchington Tangle Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Murder at Chrome House Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Man from the River Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Superintendent Wilson's Holiday Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Poison in the Garden Suburb a.k.a. Poison in a Garden Suburb Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Burglars in Bucks a.k.a. The Berkshire Mystery Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Corpse in Canonicalsaka The Corpse in the Constable's Garden Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Great Southern Mystery a.k.a. The Walking Corpse Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Dead Man's Watch Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Death of a Star Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. A Lesson in Crime short stories. Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Affair at Aliquid Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. End of an Ancient Mariner Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Death in the Quarry Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Big Business Murder Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Dr. Tankred Begins 
Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Scandal at School aka The Sleeping Death Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Last Will and Testament Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Brothers Sackville Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Disgrace to the College Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. The Missing Aunt Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Mrs. Warrender's Profession Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Off with her head. Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Double blackmail Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Greek Tragedy Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Wilson and some others Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Murder at the Munition Works Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Counterpoint murder Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Knife in the Dark Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Topers End Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Death of a Bride Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. I. Birthday Gifts Cole, G. D. H. and Cole, M. The Toys of Death Radio plays Murder in Broad Daylight BBC Home Service, 1 June 1934 as by G. D. H. and M. Cole. The Bone of the Dinosaur, Detection Club, Series 1, Episode 6. BBC Home Service, 23 and 27 November 1940 as by G. D. H. and M. Cole.